Welcome back to Philosophy. If you're new here, my name is Tech. Uh, I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on, the Wajit people. Now, I've been on a Parkhurst binge lately because Andrew has been hitting these for a six or out of the park, depending on which part of the world you come from. Uh, this is another product from his Portugal factory, the Portuguese factory, where he does his double stitch down Allen boots in the new 618 last. Uh, this one is in a Rambler leather, which I think is most associated with Truman boots. Uh, they come from Charles F. Stead, and this is in a colorway called Inferno, because as you can see from his website shots, and, and um, I'm hoping that I see them here, there are, there are hints of reddish and purpleness in the browns and the, and the blacks and the greys. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to dive into this and then uh, we'll get them on feet and see what I think. So let's do this. Uh, it has a Parkhurst shoe box, which I think if you've seen my Parkhurst videos, this is quite a new innovation for Parkhurst in that Parkhurst used to come uh, in a shipping box, which was also the shoe box, but this time uh, it comes in a nice shoe box with the Parkhurst symbol. So let's take a look. What's inside the shipping uh, consignment note? Uh, a card from Andrew. Thank you for your support. Uh, enjoy and wear well, signed by Andrew. You always get one of these. And here they are. Uh, protected by paper, but no boot bags this time. Um, so that's interesting. I'll just take them out and then have a look one at a time. And we do have... Uh, they come with... Uh, I think this is Latigo. Latigo um, leather laces. Uh, and they also come with a spare set of cotton laces. Just double check. Yep, there is no boot bag this time. Uh, this is Rambler leather from Charles F. Stead. As I said, um, quite astounding. This is called Inferno Rambler in that uh, it has some reddish tints, which is hard to see in this light, but it has reddish, brown, black tints in it. And as a Rambler leather, which is a, a shrunken suede, uh, I believe this is the flesh side. Yes, that's the suede side on the inside. And this is the flesh side of suede. Um, so in, in other words, it's grain side out. But suede is, is actually um, a split leather. So in fact, this is actually the flesh side. And that is what you would normally have on the outside. And then the second piece that's been laid off this is the actual grain leather. Uh, and you can see from the fresh, like being a shrunken suede, it loses about, I think, 30 odd percent uh, of the actual skin. So it really tightens up its fibers. But in doing so, you get this crazy, crazy um, marking on it, which is blood vessels and, and stuff that's on the inside. These are not the tick bites. These are, these, these are uh, the internal stuff of the animal. Basically, blood vessels that used to be up against the skin. Um, quite uneven in colour. Um, there's some textures of uh, hands and machines, I guess. Has a little bit of pull-up. You can see from that. But just crazy, crazy veining. Just fantastic. It is a double stitch down. Uh, the 618 last, which has a more tapered almond-shaped toe. Uh, double stitch down where the leather upper is uh, flared out after it's lasted and then stitched down to the leather midsole. You can see the two layers of leather there. Double layer midsole through the midsole and onto the rubber commando lug sole. Parkhurst uh, proprietary commando lug sole so that it can fit his combination lasted boots. And I'm not sure if I can get the angle right, but if I do, you'll see that the uh, heel and the waist are very narrow. And then they open up to a very comfortable ball before it um, tapers. A lot of people who see this toe will go, oh my God, my toes are going to kill me. But surprisingly, they don't. And I think that's because of the design of the last, where although it looks tapered, the tapering is after where your toes are. So in effect, 
your toes sort of end up about there. And that your little toes are about here. So in, it, it's slightly longer than a 602 last, in my opinion. Uh, and that allows that room for it to taper without it squishing your toes if your toes were actually in there. Taking a look at the uh, stitching, it's a quadruple stitch here at the quarters, double stitch in the single piece backstay. The layers of leather on the midsole and that heel stack just look incredible. Uh, nailed on rubber top lift. Really, really nice stitching on that double stitch down. I am assuming that's machine stitch, that's not hand stitch, but boy, that's really, really good looking. Uh, two stitches on the top, one stitch at the bottom. So what that means is one stitch, which one is it? I think it's the inside one. One stitch goes through the flat out uppers and the uh, double leather midsole. And the outside stitch goes all the way through uh, into, the, into the rubber outsole. Very clean, very um, um, well cut uh, rubber lugs on this outsole. The Rambler leather is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm really taken with it. The stitching work is nice and neat and clean. Uh, it's not finished on the uh, uh, collar or the lace edgings. The tongue, let's see if I can open this out. The tongue is, yep, as usual, uh, Parker semi gusseted up to the eyelets before the speed hooks start, so that helps with a bit of water resistance. Let's take a look at the other boot. Oh, look at that veining. Can you see that on camera? I hope you can. That's just beautiful. That veining on that quarter there. Um, you can see it's lighter in the tone. That's because of the lasting. It pulls the uh, Rambler leather over a little bit tighter over the Celastic uh, toe box. Uh, whereas the darker leather is where it hasn't been pulled so that the oils haven't been pulled out. Oh, look at that veining. This is just beautiful. The colors don't quite reveal themselves in this artificial light that I've got here. Um, but outside, I'm led to believe, and I'll take them outside in a minute. I'm not sure that I'll show you on camera. I believe they will show bits of red and reddishness in the brown, which is going to make it just pop in the sunlight. Beautiful. And again, uh, stitching is very clean, very precise. Uh, there is a, a light reinforcing leather on the inside. I mean, the leather itself actually looks pretty thick, which surprises me for a, for a um, shrunken suede, because suede, as you know, is, is usually quite a lightweight leather. Um, yeah, this feels sturdy and, and, and durable. Right. Let's get these on foot and we shall see what they look like. So let's get them on. The Inferno Rambler on feet. Parkhurst's uh, 618 last. I really should have a... Ah, here we go. I was going to say, I really should have one of those things that make sure the heel goes in. Um, when it comes out of the factory, or when Andrew un uh, laces them up before he sends them, they do the sort of bar... Uh, lacing, which is not my style. I usually zigzag. But I'll change into my style once I've done the video. I'm just going to lace them up quickly so they don't fall off my feet when I'm showing you on foot shots. And again, I usually tie a balotti knot. It's a kind of double knot and doesn't and uses up some of the extra lacing. Uh, and I might even fold up my jeans so you can see the whole boot. The immediate feel is one of comfort. I do like that last. It pops in really nicely. Hmm, I don't like that bar lacing, but I must say it seems to <laughs> it seems to cinch easier than mine. <laughs> yes, the baluti knot. I might do it on this one. You basically do a couple of rabbit ho rabbit ears. And then you pop the rabbit ear and end through, through, and the other rabbit ear and end through, 
and it ties into a kind of square knot. It's a kind of double knot. Well, they, they feel phenomenal. Uh, a, a little bit firmer than I'm expecting as a suede, uh, and that's also partly, I think, because of this um, uh, double leather midsole. That feels extremely firm. But comfort-wise, uh, it, as I said, it, it locks in the heel, it locks in the waist, it's roomy in the ball of the foot. The measurement as a, as a size 8 boot uh, is actually 8.5 from uh, heel to ball, which is the, the most important measurement really. And it's slightly more than 8.5 Brannock, I think, heel to toe because it needs a little extra space to accommodate your toes not being squeezed as it tapers. And my big toe, if I can feel it, is about there, when normally it might be four or five millimeters further forward into the boot so that you know you have that thumb's width, whereas now it's a little bit more than a thumb and a half, or roughly a thumb and a half. That feels great standing up. Uh, Flex-wise, it's difficult. It's like, I think these soles are going to need some breaking in. But you can see where I'm flexing, that clearly the ball of my foot is flexing where the leather wants to flex. I haven't cinched it super tight, so if you see a little bit of extra uh, creasing, that's because it, it sort of hasn't, um, I'm not really um, tying it up tight. But it is extremely, oh, it just fits so well. The rubber outsole is very grippy on these polished floorboards. You can hear the squeaking. With, whereas some of them, I think my Vibram V100s, are so firm, uh, such a firm rubber compound that I think they're actually quite slippery on slippery stuff. This is very grippy. Yes, really nice feel. I think the shape, some people hate that uh, overly tapered toe. I can guarantee you this does not squash my toes unless you have super elongated toes. Yeah, this is, this is really, really good. Okay, let's wrap up. Whew, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed putting these on. Uh, perfect fit for my feet in size 8, and I'm, I measure on the Brannock device uh, a US 8.5D, and this size 8 in the 618 last is a perfect fit for me. Very locked in at the heel, uh, very snug at the uh, waist, which really locks your feet in, particularly when, in, when you uh, lace in quite tightly. Um, very roomy in the, in the ball of the feet, so you don't feel squished, and I often feel it in that knuckle over there. And despite the look of this really pointy last, no, your, your little toes do not get squished at all because I think it's designed in such a way that the taper starts uh, after your toes have been accommodated. Uh, I don't feel that this is roomy in the front, which you might think it is because of that accommodation of the little toe. Uh, I, I think it's just a perfect last for me. I really uh, enjoy the, the comfort of this and I'm going to enjoy wearing these in. I hope you like the unboxing. If you do, you know what to do. Uh, click on the like button and that will really help me out. And if you're not subscribed, you really should be because a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So go on, click on the subscribe button. Uh, next week, we'll see what comes up. There's a couple of other um, really quite interesting comparison videos that I want to bring up and a couple of uh, new boots. So stay in touch, keep subscribed, take care, and I'll see you again soon.